Yo, what's going on you guys? It is your boy, your main man, your main black man, Tay is back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a beginner's tips video for Guilty Gear Strive. I'm even new to the game, but I want to make this video to show you guys what I have learned and what could possibly help you out if you're either new to fighting games in general or if you're just new to Guilty Gear or Guilty Gear Strive. Like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, see when we post, and let's get into these tips. First and foremost, before anything, when you're new to any fighting game, if you're unsure who you want to play, don't go for the character that is good or will get you the best results pick who you want to pick i can't stress this enough pick who you want to pick play who you want to play play the character you think is fun that is that is my tip number one for beginners to this game or to fighting games in general you will overall have more fun if you pick a character that you enjoy because you will lose it's gonna happen you have to hold the l's you gotta take them you will have the most fun taking l's and consistently losing when you're playing a character that you legitimately enjoy you might like their attacks their special moves what they're super looks like their design you know things like that for example if you like big buff dudes pick not go to yuki or freaking potemkin you, and you know you like grapplers pick potemkin you like characters that just freaking throw their face at the screen and go dummy pick may or pick soul bad guy and if you like charge characters i have sorry i have a mod on leo right now if you like charge characters pick leo white fang or you can also pick may because she's also a charge character as well if you like sexy characters you can pick geo pick pick freaking um Eno, pick uh, Milia, you know, stuff like that. Just pick who you want. It doesn't matter. Top tier, high tier, mid tier, low tier. Just have fun with the character. You will thank me for it. You will love it. So the rest of this video is going to be things to do while you're in the match in particular. So this thing called the dash macro. If you look at my virtual controller down on the left, you can see all the buttons I'm pressing, right? Traditionally in fighting games, you would do double tap forward, you know, to forward dash, double tap back to back dash. But this game has a particular button right here. It's called dash. So you want to set up this dash macro. You can set up your controller settings any way you want. Square or X would be punch. X or A would be kick. Triangle or Y would be slash. RB or R1 would be heavy slash. Dust would either be R2 or RT. And then you could set your dash macro to circle. You can set it up however you want to do it. I have a macro for Roman cancel, but that's something I'll talk about later. You know, you can do that. Dash macro. So now instead of double tapping or, you know, like your typical IADs, which is up forward forward or up back back you would just press a single button you see you have the single button that does this for you You jump press the dash macro and jump and press back plus the dash macro you end up getting a back dash and then you end up getting a forward dash dash macro is very important and if you hold it you get a continuous dash it varies depending on if your character the character you're playing has an actual sprint or has a traditional dash where they're not running keep that in mind holding it gives you a continuous dash and you just keep running forever back plus macro is how you back dash and how you instant air back neutral which means no directions plus dash macro is just a regular dash and you tap it if you just want to dash hold it if you want to run and then jump plus dash macro equals and it's an air dash that's a huge thing in this game and i recommend that everybody put on a dash macro because it will help a lot so the next thing i want to talk about that's pretty big in the game is um faultless defense which is this you hold back or down back and you press any two buttons so it could be back and punch and kick don't use dust because dust will give you this and you don't want that you don't want that. that's a burst you don't want to do that and any two buttons together that's not the dust button it has three different functions you can use it to cancel your dashes very quickly it's in tandem with the dash macro you see how like if you dash you know it's it's kind of weird right like you still you still get to dash and block right but it's not as fast but if you were to press dash plus faultless defense you get an instant guard you see this like you're able to guard instantly so you can use it as like a thing to dash up in someone's face to get there quick and you know just to make sure that you're safe right another thing to note is that faultless defense uses your tension gauge and your tension gauge is your super meter you want to preserve your tension as you see as long as you're holding faultless defense it's draining your tension gauge so you want to use tension very sparingly don't use it a lot you will learn how to use it and when it's good to use as you play the game that's just something that comes with experience so now that it's zero i can't faultless defend anymore so no matter what combination of buttons i press while blocking i can't faultless defense you keep that in mind you have to have tension to faultless defense i have ramadol set up with a super that can chip you out because her super is probably one of the better ways that i can show you chip out because that she seems like she would go for that a lot so i have her set to do this super right so i'm gonna block normally 
and you see what happens right i just die from it because i blocked it so let me show you what it looks like when you faultless defend now when she does this super and i and i'm gonna hold down two buttons while blocking faultless defense i lose tension gauge but i completely get out of being chipped by that super this is probably a situation that you'll probably run into more often than not always faultless defense when you see a super and you feel like you're in chip range to be killed on block all right so now we're gonna move on i'm not gonna talk in depth about this because roman cancels are a thing that's kind of complicated so i'm just gonna briefly talk about it rc is any three buttons together it doesn't matter what or what combination of the buttons you press you just have to press three buttons all together and it gives you roman cancel me i have it set to one button that's preference red rc can either be done on block to extend block strings to get more pressure on your opponents to possibly make them crack and you can get a hit and on hit you would use it to extend your combos to get extra damage carry them to the corner get a wall break things like that so red rc very good rc probably one of the most important rcs if not the most important so now we're going to move on to blue rc it's kind of hard to explain it it's kind of just an rc that that you would do when you don't have someone on you say you're about to get anti aired for example you can use this to slow down your fall timing can't really explain blue rc that much that would have to be another video purple rc is basically the roman cancel that you would use to cancel the recovery of your move my whole animation for my punch is like this right and then i have to come back that time that you're coming back somebody could potentially hit you out of that and get damage on you so the purpose of purple rc is basically so you don't have to completely do this entire wind back animation go from this stretched out animation back to your stance within a couple frames it just gives you a way to cancel your recovery frames and make it to where you won't get punished for things and you can also use it as a way to extend your pressure extend combos because chip for example he has something like this where i can let my clone come out and i get it a combo extension like that say you actually throw forward heavy slash out and they're really close you can use the purple rc to cancel that recovery so now you can block right away now we're going to move on to yellow rc if you're familiar with street fighter 5 terms it's basically your v reversal when you're put in block stun and you use the v reversal to get someone off you and take your turn back you're only able to go to rc when you're in the block stun say you're in the corner for example and you have an opponent that does this right you don't want to be here so instead of that you just gold burst and now it's your turn it's all the roman cancel button you just press any combination of three buttons together and it instantly gets your opponent off of you it's your turn to press a button afterwards and if they try to press they will get counter hit no matter how fast the button is because you're at that much of an advantage when it happens she tried to press slash afterward and she ends up getting counter hit that's all the rcs in the game so far i want to talk a little bit about bursting and bursting is basically any combination of buttons with the dust button so basically dust and punch dust and slash dust and heavy slash dust and kick two ways you can use burst up here you see this gauge you can burst multiple times in a game it comes back over time use this very sparingly don't use it every time you get hit because that is something that people will do when they're new to the game and i don't recommend doing it you're gonna be okay if you lose the round it's okay if you lose the game because you chose not to burst it's okay just try to learn your best times to burst and you want to do it when you know for sure that you're going to be taking a big combo say for example you start to get comboed and you can use burst to get them off of you and keep them in the corner you can use this as a way to build your tension gauge completely so it does not work on block so be careful with this so yeah that's gonna be it for the video hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna have some more informational tip type videos for guilty gear strive coming out this is probably gonna be the first video i upload on the game if you want to see more guilty gear strive videos and more informational videos check them out in the top right corner make sure to like comment subscribe on the video click the bell so you see when we post more videos on the channel and let me know if there's any questions you have and i can try to help you yeah it's been tavius remember to always smile and have a great day I love you guys and yeah guys peace I'll see you in the next video